but so much happens off this point coming out of here. I mean, this is my favorite spot. It's the, it's the, it's the most forward jutting piece of land off of the west coast of Hawaii, so we get the deeper water quicker. I mean, right now we're we're just approaching a thousand fathoms, six hundred or six thousand feet. We're you know, three miles offshore. The boys are backing down now. Okay, probably got a blue on. But I mean, those guys right there, I guarantee you they didn't get a whole pattern of lures out before they got bit. That's what just makes this place so special. It's like I got chicken skin thinking about it, you know, it's like come down in come down that mountain from home, you know, to, to come down to the boat and you, you don't know what to expect. You know, today could be the biggest fish, you know, today could be an absolute no fish day, uh, an epic numbers day, uh, Mixed bag day, you know, the possibilities are endless. It's, it's, that's what makes this place so cool. I come down that hill, and you're just like, you start seeing superstitious things too, like the poeo or owl over here. You know, it's you get one to fly over you in the morning or in the evening, and it gives you it's, it's supposedly good luck and gives you good karma. And something like that happens in the morning before you get down to the, the boat, and you're just like, oh, it's gonna eat you today, man. So that's the that's the drive is is you know not knowing what we could possibly tangle up with today and if we don't tangle up with it today we're one day closer to the next day so here's a mark right here of an ahi so there's some fish here on the point right now we got the tide changing right now too 718 and 716 these guys are hooked up already so those those roles really play within 24 hours you have six significant times of the day that you're going to get a bite it's the peak of your high tide uh the bottom of your low tide uh, the moon rising moon setting uh and then the moon straight overhead and straight underneath and all those things have got to uh kind of rule the, the wildlife world, you know, even in, in a hunting situation up there too, you know, your moon phases, whether it's rising, falling, all that stuff, that affects what the animals feed, and it also affects what these fish are feeding, you know, it's kind of like, now we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, those phases are their breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but they'll still go through the kitchen and pick a crumb here and there, like we do, you know, instead of eating the whole cake, we'll just take a piece of cake, you know, and then once it comes around dinner time, then we're going to have a lot of cake. Kind of on that, that aspect.